week of literacy events in Bloomfield this morning. It's part of Read Across America Week. News Aid's Kent Pierce shows you how reading advocates are trying to score with the help of some professional athletes. What do football drills have to do with a love of reading? Well, it's pretty simple for former Baltimore Raven Matt Lawrence. It helped me learn playbooks to make it to the NFL. So I think that reading across America is fantastic for the kids. So he is helping read across Connecticut get the attention of these middle schoolers in Bloomfield, where he grew up. We're the sugar in the medicine. So they know the, they know the formula, read across America. They bring us in so the kids will look at us and say, hey, their role models will listen to what they say. The Connecticut Education Foundation is trying to get students to listen to them about the importance of reading. Literacy took a big hit during the pandemic. We're not seeing that in the same way as we used to, and so we really have um, a moment where we should be pushing literacy, a love of literacy, but really a joy for learning in general. High school students are also helping spread the word to younger students. As I got older, I started really finding the importance of reading because it helps you with the grammar, helps you find new words. It's great for um, when, you get, when you grow up, when you get older. They use a lot of reading, so it's better to start young. Read Across America encourages reading every year around the birthday of Dr. Seuss. That's coming up this Saturday. Towns around the state are making access to books a little easier this year. School districts across the state have uh, partnered with us to take a little free library, build it, and put it out in their in their towns. And we have, so we'll be filling those little free libraries with books. And this is not just happening today. All week long here in Bloomfield, they are using football to try to encourage kids to get interested in reading. In Bloomfield, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.